everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're in Midway, Utah at a place called Homestead Crater. I'm actually standing on top of the crater right now and it's really not even a crater. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like a big dome that I'm standing on. It's a natural geologic formation. Over millions of years, water comes up from really deep, heated by lava or magma, I guess. But it's basically a hot spring and over millions and millions of years, it created this big dome that we're standing on right now. Directly under me is actually a hole that you can go down in back in the 1800s. This, this was the way that they would access it. And more recently, they blasted a hole to make a tunnel from the side for, so general public could go down into it. You can actually go scuba diving in there. The water is 65 feet deep and it's like 95 degrees. It's February right now, if you haven't noticed, it's kind of snowy out. We'll take a look, they have it covered up with a tarp right now, but you can see the steam coming out. And probably about, about 50 feet below this, that's where the water starts. We'll take a little walk inside, just to show you guys what it looks like inside there. It's gonna fog up the camera, so don't expect too much. Hopefully it comes out good. So that's the setting for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Cressy. Thanks a lot Cressy for helping with this video and providing the gear needed. So let's go ahead and slide down this hill. All right, so we're just walking along a trail along the side of the crater or dome. Don't know why it's not called a dome. There is an earth cache here as well in case anybody's interested if you're in a geocaching. But you can see here there are some divers waiting to go in I mean it's like 20 degrees out and people are walking around in bathing suits <laughs> all right here's the crater entrance we'll take a walk in so this is the so this is where they blasted through right here So you can actually rent gear here and go scuba diving. Take a look at this place. It's gonna fog up here, I know. Little hot tubs are on the side. That's where we were standing earlier. Pretty awesome. This is what the walls look like. It's all calcium built up on the sides. But yeah, can't spend too much time in here. Obviously it's all foggy, but. All right, well that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna be filming a little bit underwater. They fill air tanks and everything here. You can rent your gear, lockers and everything here. So as I mentioned before, thanks to Cressy for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate you guys sending me all this gear and everything. Um, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to go over some of this stuff that I'm gonna be using here in the crater. I'll also leave links in the description for you guys to get your own if you are interested. Cressy did send me a mask and snorkel kit, but I'm actually going to use the one that I've been using for the past year or two. If you guys don't know, Crossy is an Italian brand pioneer in scuba diving, snorkeling, and swimming equipment since 1946. And they make all really high quality, awesome stuff for uh, scuba, swimming, and snorkeling. It's a very comfortable mask for pro, semi-pro, and just anybody, even just for recreational snorkeling. It's perfect. This is the same gear that I've been using for about two years now, and I love it. Cressy did send me some more stuff, but I just asked him if I could just go ahead and review the stuff I already have. But it has soft silicone here, so you can equalize easily. And my favorite thing on this model, it has the panoramic view on the side lens here. So you can see out of the corner of your eye and everything. It's a real nice looking mask. The silicone is hypoallergenic. It's got a soft silicone mouthpiece here to like drastically reduce jaw fatigue and everything. So yeah, Cressy makes great equipment to go scuba diving and snorkeling. They also sent a rash guard. This is called the Cressy Demon pattern. Um, it's like a camouflage. It's supposed to make you like invisible to fish and things, I guess. But 
So you can see it's got the logo here. It's got a logo on the sleeve. It's got the thing here for this little chest guard here. So when you're reloading your spear gun, it protects your chest. Um, there's a logo and stuff on the back. Um, it also comes in blue, black, and this one here is obviously green. It's uh, designed for spear fishing, but, um, but these rash guards are awesome. They do help against jellyfish things. Putting on and taking off your BCD and all your equipment, everything is going to prevent scratching and damage to your skin. Which, if you've never went scuba diving before, a lot of times up under your armpits and stuff, you'll get you know cuts and bruises and everything from your BCD. So again, there's links in the description for all this stuff. If you guys are interested, thanks again to Cressy for sponsoring this video. Let's go get in the water. It's about 11 degrees out here. All right, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that dive out there at Homestead Crater in Midway, Utah. And big thanks to Cressy for supplying some of the gear and equipment that I needed to do this dive. There are going to be links in the description for all the gear that I was using, even the mask and snorkel that I've been using for about two years. I'll leave a link in the description for that. You guys got to meet Heather. Give it a thumbs up for Heather there. She's pretty awesome. She can make some awesome mashed potatoes. If you guys would like to see more scuba diving videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.